It's now my pleasure to introduce our second student speaker of the morning, Simran Radev. Simran is a Marshall College student and is the embodiment of the ethos and values of the college. She's an outstanding scholar and citizen who is graduating today with a degree in human biology and a minor in global health. Please join me in welcoming Simran Rundev. Good morning and happy commencement to my fellow Thurgood Marshall College graduates, faculty, staff, family, and friends. Thank you for joining us here today. I would especially like to thank my mom and dad, without whose hard work and sacrifices, I wouldn't be here today. It feels surreal to be standing here during such an uncertain period, both in the world and in many of our lives, as we now try to figure out what the next chapter of post-graduation will look like. A few months ago, we didn't even know what commencement would look like this year due to the pandemic. And this uncertainty pretty much describes the feeling that many of us have been living with over the past year and a half as we've been adjusting to a new norm. I'm sure most of us never imagined that we'd be ending our years at UC San Diego over Zoom University. Due to the pandemic, many of us had to relocate back home for the first time since moving out and begin a new school year without seeing friends or attending in-person Welcome Week events. Instead of lecture halls, we adjusted to doing school in our rooms over the sounds of pets, yelling siblings, and our parents, who somehow always conveniently started vacuuming when we had a class to attend. In light of this, I hope we are able to step back and truly appreciate our own resilience and perseverance in still being here today and graduating from UC San Diego. I feel lucky to especially be a Thurgood Marshall College graduate. I say this looking back in retrospect because, as many of you can probably relate, I wasn't the biggest fan of having to write all of those essays for our Dimensions of Culture classes. Yet Doc was critical in opening my eyes to the systemic oppression around us and gave me the basic knowledge to begin to question these systems and check my own privilege at the same time. As a Marshall College resident assistant in my second year, I was able to continue thinking critically about how students are represented at this university and practice being more intentional with the programming I was putting on for my residents. The foundations of Marshall College are rooted in student activism. Students like you and me protested for a college that would better represent the history and voices of people of color. They made it possible for a daughter of Punjabi immigrants like me to be standing here delivering the speech to all of you today. And for that, I am incredibly grateful. We all came into this university from different walks of life and different places around the world, but we're leaving together as Thurgood Marshall College graduates. And I believe that holds us to a certain degree of accountability to carry forth our college's mission of scholar and citizen into whichever field we choose to pursue. Some of you may be going to grad school next, while others have a job lined up right after graduation. And some of you may not have your next step completely figured out yet. No matter which path we may be on, we will all be members of various different communities. And in a country with rising inequities, we have the opportunity as Marshall College scholars to carry forth our knowledge and be a voice for change, no matter how big or small. Our college's namesake, Justice Thurgood Marshall, once said, where you see wrong or inequality or injustice, speak out, because this is your country. Creating a more equitable world doesn't necessarily have to mean going out and protesting. It can be as simple as educating ourselves on topics that we're unfamiliar with. It can be leaning into the discomfort and having conversations with our loved ones about controversial topics. It can be sharing reliable resources and information with our friends over social media. No matter what form of activism you choose to engage in, the important step is committing to it. I challenge all of us to continue making space for and amplifying the voices of those who have been marginalized to be open-minded citizens who embrace hearing out opinions that are different from ours, to acknowledge the different backgrounds and perspectives of the people we will be working with, and to continue questioning the systems of power around us and who they serve to represent. Thank you, and congratulations, Marshall Class of 2021.